I don't want you licking my ice cream cone. Back off. What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. And today I am coming with you because today is my birthday. I did just turn 27. <laughs> um, cue gremlin noises. Uh, yesterday I got my hair done, so my head hurts. I'm two pain pills in. I couldn't really sleep. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I do have plans for today, but I also plan on like kind of vlogging the day as we go. So you'll get that sometime later. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, today we have some questions, some random questions, uh, birthday questions for me today. I have not seen these questions at all. I actually asked my coworkers, Hey, you know, a good present for my birthday would be you guys helping me co make content. So give me 27 questions to ask myself for my 27th birthday. It could be 26 questions. I don't know if I said 26 or 27. So, uh, let me take these glasses. Wait, I can't read without my glasses. We need the glasses. Let me put the glasses back on. Your girl is blind. Um, but let's go ahead, you guys. Let me just, <laughs> let me just... Yes, I'm so beautiful, aren't I? Anyway, um, let's get into these 27 questions uh, after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, and I'd like to say, you guys, this is the first the first time I've opened up these questions. And because, let me make sure it is, I wanna say, oh, it's 28 questions, one for good luck. Um, because it's 28 questions, we're gonna go through this like really, really fast. If you want more details about certain things, I will be happy to just make a video, <laughs> just talking. Cause you know your girl can talk, just talking about these random things. Like I could have made 28 videos from this, but instead we're gonna do 28 things about Unitedly Random on her birthday. Number one, what's the best memory you had on your birthday? I have to be honest, I don't really remember a lot of my birthdays towards like the more ending of my years, like back in US. Uh, my birthdays were pretty much like ignored or there wasn't anything done for my birthday. And before that, it was like uh, we'd have like a cake or something, but nothing really special. Um, and when I say like a cake or something, I guess it's also counting in that I don't really like cakes. So it wasn't really anything too special. Also, like my birthday's in August. And so that was around a time where we were going back to school. It was like also a really hectic time. So we've never really done anything really special. There was one time that I went to like the mall with my mom and I bought a pair of shoes, but like also later on, like my mom gave those shoes away and like I bought them for my birthday. So, like, yeah. Um, number two, if you had a million dollars, what would you do on your birthday? If I had a million dollars, I would quit my job. <laughs> I wouldn't work <laughs> on my birthday. What? Oh, oh, I done dropped my paper. But yeah, if I had a million dollars, I, I would still be doing YouTube. I'd probably do like travel vlogs and just go around the world and just, I don't know. I'd just be, I'd be better at this. I think I really would be better at this. Um, number three, what did you learn this year since your last birthday? My last birthday, I turned 20, 26? Cause I'm turning 27 today. So that my last birthday from that time to this time, um, something that I really learned, I learned that you could wake up and you could be halfway across the world. <laughs> not something I had just learned because I did it before for those who don't know I went from America to South Korea and now I'm America to um I learned that I can be more independent let's leave it at that um and number four do you think money is a good birthday gift yeah I think money is a good birthday gift I think uh for realistic reasons, money is a good birthday gift because it gives you options. And um, I wouldn't say it's a good birthday gift when you are a child, though, because a lot of times that I got money, that money got yoinked. 
you know, it paid bills or something. Um, but yeah. Um, number five, what is the best birthday gift you have ever gotten? Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, like I said earlier, my birthday really wasn't celebrated. I think these are all birthday day questions. Um, number six, what's the best? Oh, yeah. Oh, number five. Okay, I just thought of something. Okay, so for those who don't know, I'm trying to make this really quick because we're already five minutes in the video. However, for those who don't know, I am adopted. I had contact with my birth mother. She popped in and tried to buy my love. That year, she gave me like some vampire themed books, like fourth vampire themed books, a birthday card. $500, all of that. She gave me a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that was, that was like, the best birthday gift. Like, I don't think I really felt, like, loved. I don't think that it really did what she wanted it to do. But, like, yeah, it was a lot. You know what I mean? Um, and next, uh, what was the best thing? I'm spittling. What was the best thing that happened to you this year? Like, and I'm supposing that it's like the year of being 26. And I would say the best thing that happened to me during my year of being uh, 26, I think that this was the year that my, like, I want to say TikTok really popped off. I haven't been on TikTok. Mm, I haven't been on TikTok for a while. But I think back in like August, October or so, I was doing pretty good on TikTok. I think I found more consistency in my life. And that's something that I can say like, yes, girl, you did it. Um, what is your favorite book, movie, or TV show at the moment? I haven't really been watching anything. I'm more of a YouTube girly. And I would say that I've been watching the Trisha podcast. The Trisha podcast. But it just Tris. I've been watching Just Tris on YouTube. So that's that's my show. Um, and it's, you know, they bumped it up to two times a week. So, <laughs> um, let me be rich chatted about that. And then eight, what are you most excited for the coming year? I think the thing that I'm most excited for in the coming year is like seeing where I am a year from now. Like just seeing the future me and like, what are we doing? How are we doing it? Like, like, I don't know. I felt so much joy in these last few years. Like I have changed. I have grown. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got a little emotional just laugh it off. But I have, yeah, I'm doing the thing when like you get your hair done and you can't stop touching it. But yeah, I've grown so much. So it's like, okay, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Um, and number nine, what's the best trip you've taken this year? I think the best trip, the best trip that I have taken this year was to the dentist. Everyone take care of your teethies. Take care of your teethies. I went to the dentist and I got like my wisdom teeth taken out. And let me tell you, that was a whole new world for me. Okay, so make sure you go to the dentist. <laughs> I mean... Uh, who do you look up to and why? I don't really look up to people. It's not really me to look up to people. However, if I was gonna say that I look up to someone, I say I look up to Trisha Paytas. Um, I'm still a Trisha Paytas girly. Like, yes, I bought the skincare. Like, I literally have it set up in my bathroom right now. Um, it's old, but it's still there. Um, but yeah, I kind of look up to the growth of Trisha Paytas. I look up to the vulnerability that one can have on the internet. And I do plan on being someone who's very vulnerable and open. Um, I don't think I see a lot of people like me doing it like I do on YouTube, which, you know, is kind of chaotic and all over the place. And like, maybe that's for a good reason. However, yeah, I look up to her and... You know, I want to become a better version of me. And I also like, like, there's certain people that just keep going. They just keep doing things. And I see Trisha Paytas as that. Also, V Love and Crystals, okay? Like, <coughs> it's Trisha Paytas, like, lifestyle-wise, being a YouTuber, following her dreams, always going. And it's V Love and Crystals, which, like, I don't know why her channel isn't growing more. 
more faster than what is growing right now because V Love and Crystals, that her like she's up and running. Like it amazes me to see people who are always like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Cause I I be taking breaks. I don't take shortcuts. I take rest. Long periods of absences, 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 ab ab long periods where I go in my boom. Um, and next, uh, if you could have three wishes granted right now, what would there be? What would they be? Um, and I would wish, I would wish for more internal motivation. I would wish for more wishes. <laughs> And I would wish uh, for good health, long lasting good health. Yeah, more wishes. I mean, and if you can't wish for more wishes, like like long lasting good health, I forgot the first wish. And I will also wish that my head wasn't hurting right now because yeah, I got these braided yesterday, not even 24 hours ago. Um, next, if you could have any celebrity crush uh, oh, any celebrity crash your birthday, who would it be and why? Any celebrity to crash my birthday? I'm over here thinking about this in like terms of what can I get from this? Like if a celebrity crashed my birthday, are we going to be friends afterwards or is there just a celebrity coming in? What celebrity am I more likely to be friends with? That's, that's, a, that's a video idea. What celebrity do I think I could be friends with and blah, blah, blah. But then I don't really know too much about celebrities. Um, which celebrity can help me on, pursue my career? You know what I mean? Um, and if you could rename your birthday <laughs> as a national holiday, what would you call it? And my birthday as a national holiday would be your... Your day, your day, your day, you are day. It'd be your day. And like my birthday as a national holiday would just be a day in which we'd all like do a self care day and we just take care of ourselves. So like August 16th is now your day. If you're on my channel, this is the day that you just take a day. You take some time to just really be for yourself. All day be you, okay? All day be you unabashedly. If you have people around you that make you feel like uncomfortable being yourself, they're not allowed around you that day. <laughs> it's your day, okay? Um, but yeah, um, and if you could have a lifetime supply of something as a birthday gift, what would you choose? If I could have a lifetime supply of something as a birthday gift, I would choose, I wanted to say energy, mm, money, like I'm trying to think of like something really good to choose, a lifetime supply. I don't know, there's nothing like I really want, like we're gonna have to come back to this, like I need to save these for a year from now and then ask my questions again. Um, maybe I could save, cause you know it's 28 questions. Maybe I can ask all 27 and then save the 28th question for next year and answer the questions again. Um, uh, we're on number 15, and I'm sorry. We're, thir oh, we're 13 minutes in. We're not that bad, you know, because I can ramble. Um, uh, for 14, that was if you could have a lifetime supply of something. For 15, if you could have your birthday at any fictional location, where would it be and why? So fictional location means that you read books. So if I could have my birthday at any fictional location, like I read books, but I haven't really read books, you know what I mean? I wouldn't go like back in time, you know, mostly I read mangas now. I wouldn't go into a manga universe. Um, if I could have a birthday party, it's like, it's kind of hard for me because birthdays aren't as special as like what people would think they are. You know what I mean? Um, but fictional, fictional reality, I guess if we can go like fictional, it's not really a book, but it doesn't exist fictional. I would like to have a birthday party where it's just like my family are there and like they love me. <laughs> I don't feel alone. Everyone's supportive. Like that's fictional, right? <laughs> I mean, you know.
you know what I'm saying? It's fiction. It's not my reality, but it would be noise. But this is a fictional location. So in a world where I am supported um, to be the individual I am, you know, on, on Alpha Gamma 3, the other world, which probably really does exist, where certain things aren't the certain way that they are, fictional location. Um, 16, have you ever had a surprise birthday party? No. I've never had a surprise birthday party. I've always kind of, like, if there was something, I've always kind of known it. I think... Before I was talking about like we never really did anything for my birthday I would say that my mom was kind of going through like a lot of like hard times like depressions From what I know and like she just did not have the energy to expand on me And I also don't think she really liked me So it was just like you know birthday parties birthday things They weren't really happening like people would want them to happen or anything like that There wasn't this grand huge birthday party um, like I had neighbors that used to have like the bouncy houses, like, and I understand that that's like money and stuff like that, but there wasn't anything that really was like, wow, this is a great birthday party. Like, this is like everything I wanted. Like, and like, even it didn't necessarily have to be everything I wanted. I don't think I really want it for too much, but no, I've never really had a surprise birthday party. Um, uh, what's the best kind of cake, chocolate cake, cheesecake, or ice cream cake? Uh, I'm not really a cake girl. I have to say I'm not really a cake girl. Not really an ice cream girl either. It's like one of those once uh, once or around type of things. You know, like, you gotta get in the mood for it. But there was a cake, and I was thinking about this cake the other day. Um, and in the country that I'm in, they don't really do buttercream frosting. Here they have, like, whipped frosting, and it doesn't even have sugar in it, uh, really. It's not sweet or anything. Like, it's not as good. Like, it's just... Huh. You know, like, huh. but I would have to say my favorite cake, okay, and I was thinking about it this other day, it was a red velvet cake with like a cream cheese frosting with pecans on it, okay. There was someone that my aunt knew that made that cake, and I just like, oh my God. Like, I was thinking about that cake the other day. And I would say, like, when I was young, the cake was better. As I got older, the cake kind of, like, wasn't the same. And I think for one birthday, my mom tried to buy me that cake for my birthday. But, like, I don't really think I got much, like, eating out of it. And it was, like, I want to say, I want to say it was, like, one of those things where it's just, like, I wanted it for, like, me. I had to share it, and then I wasn't able to really eat any of it you know what I mean so I don't know you know when you like oh I want this cake just for me like I'll put it in the freezer and I'll eat on it like this is my birthday present and then you gotta share your birthday present with everyone else it's like no like because the thing is those cakes that I'm talking about specifically with my like auntie and her friend used to make cakes it was like a once a year type of thing so I think I wanted my own cake just so I could have it throughout the year because once a year was not it was not hitting it for me you know what I'm saying um but then again you know like with these like memories and stuff like that there's some memories where it's just like I remember pretty well and there's some things where I'm just like I don't know like there's a lot of times where I just felt like I disassociated through life like I just felt so bad and like horrible and sad like not to like make this one of those videos but like I just kind of went through life and like didn't really know what was going on um even though I did know a lot of what was going on it was just like does that make sense um and 18 what was some of the best advice you have ever received oh my god i have received such good advice let me just put this on the table i have received such good advice the problem is i wasn't ready to receive that advice okay like i received the advice of like don't care what people think of you very good advice very sounding advice advice that's not really practical in the grand scheme of things if you're not ready to receive the advice if you don't know how to really use these advices i received so much advice that i couldn't necessarily use because i had to learn the lessons myself and i feel like that's like a lot of people have to learn their lessons themselves right it's not a bad thing it's just gotta learn your lesson yourself um I can't really pinpoint 
some of the advice. But I do have a video that I didn't record yet that is going to be like 27 words, the ABCs of being 27. And I'm going to give a bunch of advice on that video, at least advice to the 27 year old me or the things that I've learned as being 27. So look forward to that video. Um, 19, at this moment, do you have a hobby? I guess my hobby would be YouTube. I guess it would be YouTube. Um, and 20, if you can go anywhere for your birthday, where would you go? If I could go anywhere for my birthday, like no money, no issues, no nothing. I don't really want for anything. That's that's the crazy thing. Like, where would I go for my birthday? I don't know. I don't really, you know, I don't really want anything. Maybe next year I will have something. I'll be like, y'all, I want to go back. I want to go back to America or something. But like right now I'm pretty chill. Um, 21, what's your earliest birthday memory? My earliest birthday memory. I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. I would say like... I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. I feel bad that I can't tell you like, oh yeah, it was when I was this years old and blah, 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 and this happened and that happened. But like, I think my birthday just wasn't at a good position in time. Like, it's in August, you're going to school. Um, there's just, there's not much to say. I didn't really have any friends. You know, I can remember going to other people's like birthday parties and stuff like that. But like for me in this moment to just be like my best birthday or best memory, I don't have them. Um, uh, what's something that's true that nobody agrees with you? Uh, something that's true that no one agrees with you about. Like something that's true. Um... I am one of the greatest. That is my value. That is my promise. <laughs> uh, I will be one of the greatest. I don't think, like, people don't, like, necessarily, like, no, you won't. But maybe people don't uh, agree with me when I say I'm going to make it. People might underestimate how far I'm going to go. I've been staring somewhere at the water, wondering if I can remember how that song go? Now the song's in my head. But I do think that can be something. Um, what is your all-time favorite Disney character? Oh, maybe I was singing that song because even though I didn't read the question yet, I saw Disney. But Moana, I really like Moana. And on top of that, I see what's happening here. The character Dwayne The Rock, the Johnson play, open your eyes, let's begin. It's Maui. I had to sing that song to remember the name. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I feel like uh, Moana came out when I was in Korea. I really do feel like Moana came out when I was in Korea and I just kept singing that song over and over and over and over and over. But it could have been before I was in Korea. If so, like it's been so long since Moana came out. Um, what would, what would be if you had to wear, what would you be if you had to wear one Halloween costume every day for the rest of your life? One Halloween costume every day for the rest of my life, I would be a Halloween costume. One hollow, like, can it be one Halloween theme? Cause if it's one theme, then I can go like fairy. And then like, you know how many different fairies there are. I can be this, or I can be that, or I can be this. I could be Eevees, okay? And then like, I could do the different evolutions every day. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's ways we can go about this. Um, and number 25, what are the songs that make you sing along whenever you hear them? Moana songs. Happy birthday. Like, there, I, there's so much music in my head. Like, really, there's so much music in my head. That's not an easy question. Um, and um, 
What's next? Do you believe that love is blind? I believe what's love got to do with it? <laughs> no, but love is something that can be blind. Love doesn't necessarily go with what you see. Really, love can make you blind. Love is the most blindest thing that you can actually encounter without being blind. Because love can make you blind to the injustices that people do to you. Love can make you blind to the the hate that people that you feel like should love you give you because love made you blind to seeing that things are actually not that good. Love can definitely make you blind. Now that I think about it, we could do a whole video about how love can make you blind or weak. I think love could be a weakness. Um, and number 27, what's the food you usually refuse to share? Um, the food that I usually refuse to share, there's like nothing that I would really refuse to share. I think if anything, it's something more so like, it's something that you can't necessarily share. Like, but what would it, like, I wouldn't share it like an uh, ice cream cone, cause then you gotta lick my ice cream cone. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you licking my ice cream cone, back off. And I guess I could also do the 28th question. I'm rocking back and side, back, back and forth, cause my tummy's starting to hurt y'all. Um, but what's the movie that makes you laugh after watching it several times? I don't know. I don't know, cuz. I could have left that one off. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer to these questions. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to my coworker who prepared these questions for me. I'm sorry, you guys, that I didn't have a lot of birthday theme uh, questions. I hope that you guys can understand. Well, there was a lot of birthday theme questions. I didn't have a lot of birthday theme answers, but I hope that you guys can understand that, you know, I don't know, baby. I don't know. Anyway, much love and positive vibes. Keep an eye out for my video where I give 27 words or 27 things of advice for a 27-year-old. I wrote it when I was 27. I just didn't record it before today. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, my stomach hurt. Oh, gosh. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna walk away. I'll cut it. I'll cut it. You need to cut it. Cut it.